Hi, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the GSL English podcast. My name is, of course, Gideon, and today we have a very special guest joining the podcast. Well, actually, you are the first guest. Who are you, guest? <laughs> I'm Heather. <laughs> nice good. to be here. <laughs> yeah, very good. And Heather is my wife, everybody. Mrs. GSL, is it Mrs. or Miss? Yeah, oh. Mrs. Yeah. It is Mrs. Yes, MRS. MRS. I always. Yeah, so Ms. is technically if you're single. No, Miss. M I S S is if you're single. What's Ms.? Ms. I don't know. I think it's if you don't want to be either. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was a great start. So this is <laughs> Mrs. Yeah. <laughs> GSL English. So how are you today? I'm very good. Thanks. Now, I'm going to put a disclaimer out there for you. Mm -hmm. In a sense, this took a bit of persuading, didn't it? Because you don't feel comfortable right now, do you? No. No, I think it's quite obvious, probably. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to think of what to do for the podcast. And I was trying to think of making it a little bit more interesting. And I asked a few people if they were available to join me on the podcast. And they were not. So, so I'm a last resort. <laughs> you're not. No, you're not the last resort. But I knew that you would not. This is this is not your wheelhouse, which means this is not the kind of thing you're used to, is it? Or, or comfortable with? No. No, not at all. No. But now I know I wasn't even a first choice. I'm a bit offended. No, it's not that you, you were my first choice. It's just that I, I didn't want to put you in a position where you felt forced to do this. Oh, really? So I had a choice? You did have... Well, no, no. <laughs> today you didn't have a choice. You did because I needed <laughs> I needed to get the podcast out there. So that's it. So thank you for joining me. And the idea of the podcast today is just to practice our listening skills we're going to talk about some different topics which you don't really know too much about no. because this is very last minute you joining me mm -hmm. um so just enjoy it if you're watching on youtube hello i hope you're doing well you know i'll give you a, a wave and as always if you're listening on spotify or apple i like to give um an audible hello and a doffing of the hat H have you listened to my podcast so let's be honest have you ever listened to one of my podcasts all the way through <laughs> You haven't. <laughs> I've listened to some of it. Wow. No, I hear you. Wow. I hear you every day. Good. So like. <laughs> it's a knife to the heart, a little bit. <laughs> no, I hear it. It sounds excellent, but it, you know. I'm good. I'm good. I have the real, real deal. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so <laughs> you're not a fan, really, of, of the <laughs> no, podcast, is what I've taken from that. It's not that I'm not a fan. It's just I'm having your podcasts anyway as like a daily thing a daily you, you live within <laughs> the podcast i live the podcast yeah well yeah. you're very lucky yeah. no. but very good <laughs> so what are we going to talk about today well first of all let's get to know you a little bit so what, where are you from uh just outside of manchester a little town called lee yeah of course i, I just to disclaim i do already know my <laughs> wife this is simply <laughs> for, for content and for something to talk about <laughs> Actually, no, what I wanted to talk about first is before we get into that is one of the stipulations for Heather joining this podcast was my chair. So I have been demoted in chairs <laughs> to this, to one of our kitchen well, it's like chairs. Quite a squeaky chair, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking that. Can you hear it squeaking? I don't know if it'll come. Can you I, hear... I can hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that picks up on the podcast, but yeah, you, you, one of your stipulations, you said, yep, yeah, okay, I'll do the podcast, but I'm having your chair. Mm -hmm. What do you think of my chair? It used to be my chair. Did it? Yeah, it did. Oh, okay. I inherited another chair, basically, and then you got this chair. Well, the chair has come home to roost. But yeah, that was one of the stipulations. Okay, so back to it. So yeah, let the listeners know, where are you from? So just outside of Manchester, um, a little town called Lee. Lee. So up north. Up north. So it's in the north of England. Yes. So you might notice that our accents are, are ever so slightly different. Do you agree? I never hear it, but I think so. Say bath. <laughs> bath. Say grass. Grass. Okay, so you can hear there is there is a difference there. Um, yeah, I'm, of course, from the southeast of England, just outside of London, up north. Up north. In yep. Manchester. Near Manchester. Because it's interesting, because the first time I ever went to Manchester was to visit you mm -hmm. and if i'm right i think the first time you ever visited london was with me mm -hmm. one yeah. of our dates never had, never ever been before 
Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was a date. One of my first actual dates. Very wasn't first it? date. Yeah, you surprised me with um, taking me to a Christian Dior um, exhibition. Mm. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, I remember that because it was a Christian Dior couture. Yes. Couture exhibition. <laughs> now, I, I, I at the time had no idea what that meant. Um, I'm really not a fashion. Actually, I'm struggling now. What does couture mean? <laughs> um. Oh, that's, I'll put you on so the spot. You then. have put me on the spot there. Um, basically, it's handmade. Um, the whole process is handmade and yeah. meticulously done. Takes hours to do, and normally they're one of a kind. Yeah, which is what interests you. Mm-hmm. So I found tickets to that. Um, he, did, oh, he did well. I was <laughs> completely day. out of my depth. I had no idea what was going round, going on. Set the standard pretty high straight yeah. away. <laughs> but I was. I remember thinking because honestly, that's not my kind of thing, really. Really? No, I mean. <laughs> As much, I'm not really a fashion <laughs> icon, um, but I remember walking around thinking I've got no idea what's going on, but but look interested. So I remember you would say things, and I'd go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I can see that. But I, I would honestly have no idea what we were looking at, or what was going on. But that was a good day. Mm-hmm. It was. It was good exploring. Yeah, you took me to a few other places, a few restaurants. Yeah, I think nice. we went food. to see Les Mis. Oh, we did. I forgot that was the same day. Yeah, yeah. We went to see Les, Mi- Les Miserables, <laughs> not Les Miserables. Which if I, did you call it Les Miserables? No, I've never called it Les Miserables. Yeah, Miserables. Yeah, we went to see Les Mis in the evening. Yes, that was a great. Made me cry. Yeah. What was your impression of London? Of course, coming from because Manchester is is it quite a big city? Yeah, it is. I don't know that much about manchester i've only really been to like the shopping areas and a few areas around it but to be honest i didn't really go out shopping that much mm. so going to london much bigger city and lots to do lots to see it was really exciting yeah mm. oh, it's a great city london it is yeah, a great city it. and you um i think it was quite a nice sunny day when we went wasn't it yeah it was beginning of july was it yeah. or june it must have been or june yeah, oh, you're asking me with date I'm, I'm terrible with dates. You but I've remembered next weekend because next weekend is what? Our anniversary. It's our anniversary. It's our wedding anniversary next weekend. Well, technically Wednesday. Yeah, but we're working. <laughs> so we, we're we going to celebrate it at the weekend. But yeah, it's technically our, our anniversary. So, mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah. But now, of course, you live near London. I do. I do. With me, which is good. Okay. Very good. Doing well with the podcast. I know this. I, I do know this is very uncomfortable for you i know that this is something that you are not used to but you're doing well you're doing well so be kind to her in the comments and i'm going to put this out there which you're not going to like this but if you do enjoy our discussions together maybe we can do it again sometime (laughs) but we'll see about that um i think that'll be a comment for after the podcast yeah so now what do you do heather What, what is your job I just like you teach English. Yeah, you're an English teacher, but you do you teach adults? No, nope, I teach children. Teach children. Yep, from the ages about four to sixteen. Yeah, and how long have you been doing that? Oh, nearly ten years. Is it really nearly mm-hmm. ten years? Yeah. Wow. So you started off working with a company, and then you've just kind of worked for different companies mm-hmm. yeah. since. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do. It's nice. It's fun. Yeah. I tried teaching children for a while, but um, I wasn't very good at it. Um, there's a certain element of patience I think you have to have, would you agree? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which I wasn't quite good at. Um, I wasn't impatient, but not like you. You're very patient Sometimes. and you can entertain whilst <laughs> teaching, which... I think you I just got to really be their that. friend and just find what they like and then talk about that. Yeah, I would agree. So what what have you been working on with your, like your, some of your students recently? What have you been teaching them um most recently we've been looking at some like riddles riddles and tongue twisters riddles riddles and tongue twisters mm-hmm. i'm terrible at riddles <laughs> you do like a good riddle though don't you if i can remember it yeah you got i like one? i've got one have you got any riddles yeah. um let's see. fire up now this is gonna i'm i'm notoriously bad at riddles <laughs> i'm trying to think so. of one that i've never told you before you could have to done put, one that I, you know I know, the and then I could have looked really intelligent to the podcast. <laughs> no, I'm going to do a hard one. Well, it's not hard, but well, I don't think it's a hard one. Well, now, you know I'm not going to get it. <laughs> okay, all right. What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? <laughs> I've not got that kind of mind. What are two things? What are two things you can never eat for breakfast? 
Okay, so this is my thought process. Bear in mind, I teach children and they got this. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to guess, uh, you'll realise I'm really bad at riddles. I don't have that kind of mind. So, it's clearly not food. Because you can eat any food for breakfast. Okay. Put it. <laughs> I just want to see where you are. I have a clue. You know, you know I'm bad at these. Can I, I have a clue? I don't know how to give you a clue without giving you Is the answer. Food? Technically, no. Not like a specific Two food. things you can't eat for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Two things you can't. Now, if you if you are getting this, by the way, please let me know in the comments. Or if you did get this, send an email, gslenglish1 at gmail.com. Now, I'm going to have to ask you, otherwise there's just going to be silence for about 20 minutes while I think of it. What's the answer? Lunch and dinner. Oh, come on. Come on. You can never eat lunch or dinner for breakfast. What about if you had your lunch prepared? But it still would have been the breakfast. Day. No, but breakfast. you decided to eat your lunch for breakfast. It still is your breakfast because you're eating it at breakfast time. But you're eating your lunch at breakfast. No, it doesn't matter the food. You can have pancakes and waffles for your dinner, but it's still dinner. So you could do that same riddle. What two things can you never eat for lunch? Yeah? Yeah, you could. No, not really. Yeah. I think breakfast works best. What? Still. Okay. All right. Well, that was not a great start. Give me another riddle. <laughs> Come on. Give me one that you think I might know. Uh, one might go. What is full of holes, but still holds water? Full of holes, but still holds a sponge. Yeah, see. Was oh, that right? Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna. <laughs> the only reason I knew that was because there's a SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> episode where I think he absorbs a load of water and it stays there. Oh, okay. A sponge. Yeah, a sponge. Okay. All right, that's not bad. <laughs> but does a sponge have holes? Very tiny holes, I guess. It does. All right, any more? Um, what, when it's new, it is tall, but when it's old, it is short. When it's new, it is tall, mm -hmm. but when it's old, it is short. Yeah, or what gets, what starts off tall? Starts off tall. Oh, maybe I've given that away. Well, clearly not, because I have no <laughs> idea. I think I've butchered it. I think I've butchered how I say it. Can I have a look at how to you say it? You can't have one? a look at how to say it. Okay, don't look. Don't look at the answer. Uh, oh, honestly, okay. No. I'm tall when I'm new, and I'm short when I'm old. I'm tall when I'm new, and I'm short when I'm old. Mm -hmm. So I think there must be a link between tall and short. Okay. I'm tall when I'm new. A coffee. No, because you know in Starbucks, right? You get isn't it a grande, a tall coffee? Yeah, but how is short? it short when it's old? Because you've drunk a lot of it and it's older now. So it was tall well, when I, it was new because it was taller. I kind of get where you're going with that. Am I on the right track? No, not at all. It's not something you can eat or drink. I'm tall when I'm new, mm -hmm. but I'm short when I'm old. Help See? me out a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Help me out a little bit here. Um. You like them a lot. When you tidy, it's your finishing touch. Candles! Mm -hmm. That is true. Candles. I do love candles. <laughs> I do love do. I love a good candle. I always know when he's done a good tidy up because there are candles already. It's like yeah. the finishing touch. <laughs> I don't... Let's be honest. You, I'm not really that good at tidying generally. Um, but when I do, I like a good... Actually, I haven't got one on my desk right now. What do you think of my office, by the way? Yeah, it's lovely. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, candle. Very interesting. A candle is like um, it's, a, it's the wax with a wick, and you you burn it. Um, very good. Now another thing that I know because I've heard you've been doing this with a lot of your students recently is tongue twisters. Mm -hmm. Tongue twisters. So I've picked. Oh, I thought I'd picked three, but I've only got two here. Do you know any tongue twisters before we go into these? Well, I do know some. Not off by heart, because I was doing them in classes. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I know a few. Okay. So we're going to practice some tongue twisters together. Now, I haven't I haven't like had a go at these beforehand. 
So we've got them written down here and I want to see who can do them best first off. But my rule is you can't do them slowly. You can't mm -hmm. slow okay. them down. You've just got to go straight in. So I thought the only way to see who goes first is rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Wait, okay. Are we... Wait, I'll, I'll, yeah, I thought about that. Because we've had many <laughs> times where we've played rock, paper, scissors and it, it's, just, it's mayhem. It's all over the place. So we're going to take it in turns and see who f we feel did it better. Okay? So we'll, we'll go like one, two, three, go. So on go. I think shoot. You're or supposed on three. To no, one, two, three. And then go. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, you're going first. Yes. Why rock am I going first? You win. Because I beat. Yeah, so I choose you to go first. Oh, okay. Um, rock, paper, scissors, <laughs> just in case you don't know, which I'm sure most of you do. Um, rock. Paper, scissor. Mm -hmm. Rock Beat. beats scissors mm -hmm. because it crushes the scissors. Paper beats rock because it wraps over the paper. And scissors beats paper because it cuts the paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Very well explained. Thank you very much. But <laughs> I did win. So you were going first. So okay. this is it. Can you see that all right? Okay. That's the one we're going to do first. Mm -hmm. So I don't want it slow. Mm -hmm. Go for it. <laughs> it's not an easy one to start off with, is it? No. Okay. Um, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where the peck? Where's the peck of pickled peppers? Peter Piper picked. Oh. I think that deserves a bit of a round of applause. <laughs> that was very good. And you, I noticed you got a little bit comfortable in the middle there. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, guess it was you, in you, the right order for the sounds. I don't know. And then at the end, it tricked me. But you started off with a good speed. And then you... And then I, I got sensed, confident. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I sensed that extra bit of confidence of going fast. I was like, oh. But it was your downfall. <laughs> it's because, like, yeah, the third line didn't... And then the last bit, yeah. But. Okay. My turn. <clears throat> Have you practiced this before? Oh, no, I haven't. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Peter Piper. No, okay. <laughs> it sounded so like the beginning of like a movie that. intro. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Okay. Have a sip of water. You didn't have a sip of water. No, I think now I'm at an unfair advantage. Yeah. Okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper. Ah. Oh, okay. Already. I feel like I've already won this one. No. <laughs> I, I, oh. Peter Piper. No, too slow, wasn't it? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Pi Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Ah, okay. Started off terrible. Yeah. Got there in the end. It did start off bad, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you... Um, tongue twisters, although they this sounds fun, if you have a, a speech coming up, I don't know, maybe you've even got an IELTS exam or anything like that. I know you do it as a warm-up for a lot of your classes. Mm -hmm. But they are a brilliant way of just getting the mouth moving um, and just, just kind of vocalising the sounds. Mm -hmm. But of course, slow down a little bit. You don't have to go straight in fast. But they are very good. All right, we're going to give this one one more go. What, the same one? Yep, same one. What, me? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I did really well. I think you're the one that needs to do a bit more practice. Oh, let's see about it. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I'm okay. struggling with that end bit. Yeah, but that was good. That was up until oh, the it's first two lines yeah. I can do. It's the note on the question, isn't it? Because this last one is a, is a question which I yeah. think throws us off. But that was very good. That was very good. I don't think I can beat that, and I will try. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Wow, okay. Came out the gates there. Well done. Came out the gates strong. Well yeah. Sorry, I just lost my slipper. <laughs> um, in the excitement of doing that <laughs> tongue twister, I kicked off my slipper. Slippers, the <laughs> shoes that you wear inside the house. <laughs> Um, you haven't got yours on. Oh, you do. Got my orange ones on. But yeah, I think I won. I think I won that. Yeah. Very good. Maybe, All right. Maybe you just tricked me into like giving that false no, confidence I, I really that didn't. I was better, so that you could just come in and swoop in and win. No, I didn't. Are you sure? I, I just I don't know what happened. It's, something came over me. There was a confidence. There was 
I just thought, no, Gideon, you need this, you want this, and I achieved greatness. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Greatness, yeah. I think it's a bit of a far fetch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, the next one. Do you want to do rock, paper, scissors again so you guys first? Yeah, but I don't think it's fair that you won and you chose me to do it. I think if you win, you No, if you win, you get the choice. <laughs> I okay. Think it's... All right. Wait. <laughs> okay, you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> what are you, in... what were you doing there? You went a five. Okay. Rock, One, paper. two, three. <gasps> okay, I've lost. Okay. So scissors you're going to go. <laughs> you're going to go first. <clears throat> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How would chuck he would as much as he... How would chuck... <laughs> Sorry, I went a little... Okay, right. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much as he could and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. That middle bit. That's a strange one. Have I've I, heard have this... I done something wrong? Though, I've heard this one before, but... And it doesn't have that bit. He would chuck, he would as much as... How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He I've would never chuck, heard that. He would, as much he as would chuck, he would as much... What? Maybe. He would I chuck, think it's he, he would, would chuck as much as he could. Oh no, he would chuck, he... He would chuck, he would as much as... I guess there has to be an extra wood because it's trying to catch you out on wood and wood. He would chuck. He, he would, would chuck, chuck. He would as much as he could as chuck a, no, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could. <laughs> that was a okay. Really... Just go for it. Right, okay, go all in and just see what happens. Go okay. for it. How much wood would a woodchuck? Ugh, I can already. Well, that was the easy bit. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck. He would as much as he could as chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Okay, you got that perfect. Because what you did, I was isolating these sounds as much as he could but you did as much as he could so he would chuck he would as much as he could as his, so you have to keep the rhythm going i think so but it's quite hard because i don't think it has the same rhythm how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood he would chuck he would as much as he could as chuck as much wood as a wood chuck would if a wood chuck could chuck wood yeah i don't think either of us did great no, on that one. Not that one now i did have a third one prepared but it seems to have gone I'll missing have one you got one. Yeah, I did this one in my class last time, and it was hard. If I couldn't do it, um, help me. Have you got it? I did have it. The seashells. Okay. Go for it. She sells seashells by the seashore, and the sea and the shells that she sells are seashells for sure. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, that was quite. She sells seashells by the seashore, and the shells she sells. I, you go a little bit Sean Connery with this one. <laughs> Oh, That's Sean why Connery. it's tricky. You know, you know Sean Connery, a great actor. I think he's passed away now. What? One of the greatest Sean Connery's greatest films. What was he saying? He was in Indiana Jones, wasn't he? Oh yeah. yeah. But that's not. He wasn't a feature. If he was in it. He was in it. But I think the reason why he's famous is because of James Bond. But he had that kind of charm that spoke <laughs> like that, didn't he? Oh, he's that was a great Sean Connery impression. <laughs> What's that? Um, the the joke about the shell with Sean Connery. Oh. Oh. A book fell on my head. I blame my shelf. <laughs> so I blame my shelf. Or as he would say, shelf. Very good. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore and the shells that she sells... Are sh nah, that's, that's that not... I never... One. Go on, go one more time. I'm never okay. going to get that. She she sells seashells by the seashore and the shells that she sells are seashells for sure. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. I, did, I have a bit of a, an advantage on that one. You I practiced that one. Well, I, yeah, but yeah. my student, she could not get that one. It really mm. <laughs> yeah. it really threw her. <laughs> yeah, so they are really good, aren't they? Mm. You use them a lot in your classes. Mm. Uh, how, where do you find that kind of tongue twisters help your students? Um, I think understanding that even the English of like my English mm. isn't perfect, especially when we do things like that. Um, it's okay to make mistakes, have a bit of fun. Yeah. There's no pressure, it's just learn um and learn from your mistakes yeah um, and just keep practicing yeah i like to use them in particularly if we're doing like speaking group classes or getting conversation sometimes you know you might be a little bit nervous beforehand or mm -hmm. worried they kind of put everybody on a level playing field mm -hmm. um which means everybody on the same kind of level because it's not about getting it all right is it it's about mm -hmm. just warming up and 
you know, sometimes just kind of having a bit of fun, laughing at yourself, which I think that's actually one of the, probably one of the most important aspects of learning a language, which I know I've put this across in some of my other videos and podcasts, which you would have known if you watched them. But <laughs> one of the, um, the points that I always like to kind of preach, so to speak, is to not take yourself too seriously mm. when learning a language. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think if you take yourself too seriously, then you're going to be upset about the mistakes, but then that's going to make you make more mistakes, I think. Yeah. So if you just have fun with it, and then it makes other people who are um, who you're talking to feel you know, less on edge for you to say things perfectly, because if you're having a bit of fun with experimenting with new sentences or new grammar or whatever, <clears throat> I mean, it just makes it a lot easier. For everybody involved in a conversation, it's not like structured or scary. Yeah. And I don't know how I'm explaining that. No, that's so. exactly it. I completely agree with you. And I think, yeah, we do have this idea, particularly when learning languages, that everything has to be so structured mm -hmm. um, and perfect. Where actually, when we are speaking with emotion, when we're speaking naturally, mm -hmm. it doesn't come across perfect. Like, we are two native English speakers here, okay, from different parts of England, slightly different accents, but we don't speak English perfectly. No. Um, and that's what kind of these tongue twisters really help you to do is just just relax a little bit before having conversations, um, particularly in English. Now, you and I, we have very different personalities, don't we? I I'm generally quite comfortable talking to new people you're mm -hmm. probably more of a creative person mm -hmm. um which you don't find it easy even being a native english speaker having conversations in english <laughs> no. all the time do you no yeah. definitely not what is it that you get worried about i mean i'm just a notoriously bad overthinker <laughs> <laughs> so i think that doesn't have a um a great effect on my uh, confidence in speaking so it doesn't matter that I naturally speak English, just conversation. So I think if you're more relaxed, um, whether you are native or not, you know, it just makes the whole um, feel of a conversation. The other person feels more at ease, basically, if you can relax and have a bit more fun yeah. with how you're speaking. Or, But no, I'm not normally a conversationalist. Mm. But you've <laughs> That's got... Like your forte. But you are great in a conversation. And it kind of... We were talking about this before... The, in the very brief preparation time we had for this podcast. <laughs> when I like completely barraged you with co um, questions about yeah. what if of this and what if of that. <laughs> but actually, but we were saying that being a good conversationalist isn't about being the loudest person in the room. It's not about being the one with the strongest opinion and being able to talk. Um, being a good conversationalist, it involves so many more skills, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I like, think listening is a big one. Well, actually probably the most important yeah. if you're not listening to what the other person is saying at all then what's the point in having the conversation yeah <laughs> but also when we listen we pick up on points that we can then use as little references mm -hmm. to keep having the conversation yeah. and it just got me thinking that you know personality does play a, a factor mm -hmm. in our speaking skills but but it doesn't stop no it doesn't stop a conversation yeah exactly well that was good how do you feel about that podcast? I really, I tell you, it's so much easier having someone else than talking to myself for half an hour, making it up as I go along. Yeah. yeah. Did you hate it as much as you thought you would? No, I think the thing is, it's not knowing where I'm looking. I'll be honest. Yeah, because we've got a camera there, notes there. We can not see to, like, ourselves here. Not break the fourth here. wall kind of thing. I don't know if that's the thing, but you know, because I'm not really into this whole. Mm. Um, camera movie situation yeah <laughs> in I, I production don't... industry <laughs> but nor am i really like you, i've been doing youtube what yeah i mean you've picked it up pretty quick but this is all i, I think you. you are like a natural actor though no but i no, do enjoy it way. i enjoy it yeah exactly yeah. not in a bad way in a good way yeah like you you enjoy just kind of being natural and conversational hmm. and you you know you have that um way of being able to carry that i think in yeah. a conversation that's why i prefer this rather than talking to myself for half an hour 40 minutes but yeah if you did enjoy this podcast <laughs> today if you would like me to perhaps invite on more guests um the ones you asked before me yes. apparently yeah the more higher degree of guests <laughs> no you were perfect okay. um but 
if you yeah if you would like me to invite more guests onto the podcasts um let me know in the comments you know just if it, just to the idea of having a guest is just to kind of listen to two speakers engage in um in conversation to practice your listening skills um hopefully you you learn some new vocabulary idioms expressions but also just to have a a bit of fun whilst um listening in english because i know we actually have many listeners now that kind of listen while they're doing the cooking driving their cars um yeah i listen I've got, to podcasts as well. yeah just not, not mine <laughs> just not mine i mean but would that that would be a bit self indulgent wouldn't it um actually we're going on a two-hour drive no, next week I'm not doing so that. maybe we could listen to my podcast the whole no, way no gives you plenty of time to catch up <laughs> i do understand people like to listen no. to podcasts whilst they're doing things and yeah I but um just but not yeah. in those. Okay, so we'll get some more guests on if you enjoyed this. Um, thank you so much for joining. I do appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, nice glass of wine after this. Um, but yeah, have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one, guys. It was me. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Action. Oh, you, you're even nervous now. No, I'm nervous. Oh, no, I'm just trying to think <laughs> of it in my head. <laughs>